What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Southeast Angling. Today we're going to be doing a fishing challenge with a twist. We have a roulette app that is using five department stores that you usually buy fishing stuff at and we're going to be using a couple coins that we've accumulated over the past couple months to buy a rod, reel, line, and lures. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel. It's pretty hard to spin. And... Walmart, Alright, so I have a budget of $17.52. I've got a budget of $39.43 because I'm a better saver. Yeah, he's a better saver, but I'm a better fisherman. So we'll make we'll make it work. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna go with this rod right here. It's called the uh, Shakespeare Reverb. It's probably crap, but I think it's the best bang for my buck in my budget. Alright guys, I have about five dollars left. So we're gonna be a little tight on lure selection, but I have a feeling we're gonna make it work. All right, so there's a pretty big selection of rooster tails. Uh, they're 266 or 276, but I think I'm gonna have to go with them because honestly, how could you not? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the classic orange and gold rooster tail as my first bait. And I have a pretty good idea about what I'm gonna get for my second bait. All I need to find is a small pack of hooks and then I can find some forage and use that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get these right here. Only probably gonna use these as a last resort though. Alright guys, for my last bait, I think I'm gonna go with this small little jerk bait. So my bigger budget, I chose this uh, Shakespeare Ultralight for $17 and then this uh, Panther Martin gold plated blade for about 4 this really small crankbait for about a buck fifty. Rooster tail, of course, because that's you know a river essential. And full little, little tiny swim bait for about two fifty. All right, guys, we made it down to the creek. Got our Walmart rods and our Walmart uh, fishing tackle, and we're gonna see how many fish we can catch. And we're gonna have a challenge um, to who can catch the most fish, basically. So. Any fish that's not a bass is worth gonna be worth one point, and bass is gonna be worth two points. Um, we've never fished here before, so we don't know what's in store, but we'll find out. All right, first cast of the challenge. Oh, I had a fish take it. Fish. Fish. Oh, look at him. Tiny bluegill it looks like. Oh, dude, he's got some sick color to him, though. First fish of the day. It's for Steven. I believe it's just a normal bluegill. I could be wrong. This guy right in the mouth. Andrew, look at this fish. Look at its tail. Oh, wait, that might be a pumpkin seed. Oh, it might pumpkin. be a pumpkin seed. It's pumpkin seed. First pumpkin seed I've caught in a long time. The uh, release. Dude, this, this is so shallow. There's no fish here. This is way too shallow for any fish. Oh, I got a fish on. I got a fish. I got a fish. Yep. There we go. Oh, do you think it's another pumpkin seed? I think. All right, guys. I'm on the board now. Got myself a little pumpkin seed on the rooster tail. 
he hit it as soon as it hit the water. Well, there's a release. Thanks. Got him. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, you see that? Fish. Oh my gosh! Oh, shoot, he did. Yes. Yeah, he's not coming back. What do I always have to Alright guys, just a little update so far. Me and Steven have each caught one fish of the same species. Uh, so far this Walmart gear is working out pretty well. All right, you get first cast, right? Yes. I'm sinking, so. Oh, fish. yep, saw him. I, I watched him hit fish it. Again. Hit it again. again. Hit it again. Oh my god. Oh, right, you get blown up. My turn. Got him. Hit. No! Is he really? I think. No, I think he got off. Dude, that was a bass. I know, I saw. Watch out. Oh. Dude, that was a bass. Fish, what are you doing? Just keep going. Just keep zooming. Keep zooming? Oh my gosh. Alright guys, fish number two. Got another uh, pumpkin seed, I think. Um, so yeah, come right in that little hole right there as we were walking by um, on the rooster tail. So, so far so good on the Walmart fishing challenge. Alright, see you later little buddy. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, do you see him? Yeah, got him. Oh, what a big red breast. Oh, man. That is a beautiful fish. Ah, stab me. Look at the colors on this. Oh, my gosh, Steven. Oh, you spooked all the fish here. All the bass, at least. Ah, no. Oh crap. Oh, fish. 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 Oh, he got wrapped. Oh, I still got him. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Red, red breast. Got this little pumpkin seed and another rooster tail. Um, really great colors. Great fish to look at. He's scarred up on his mouth a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see it. That was from a previous person, not me. Um, got some nasty teeth. We're gonna let this guy go after a few pictures. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and head upstream. Uh, Steven just caught his third fish, so the score is three to two so far. Um, we've got about 45 minutes of daylight left, I'd say. So we're gonna keep going upstream, fish the spots we already fished, and then go up a little farther, and then we'll call it a day. Basically, that 45 minutes of daylight I thought we had left it was really more like 15. By the time they got back up to the starting point of the creek, it was already way too dark to keep recording. So that's why I'm filming the outro today. All in all, Steven's $40 budget did end up catching more fish than my $20 budget, so he won the challenge. If you guys want to see more challenge videos like this, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment, so I know you guys want to see more. But other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode.